Yo, this is your boy Sam from Say What Production, and... For the past two years that I've been playing Airsoft, I changed my iPro dramatically. Now the first three that you saw are, are just for jokes, but um, they're, they're not going to protect your eyes. But the last one uh, that I've been using before I changed to this one, I've been using it a lot on the field and it has worked, but I didn't like it because it would always fog up on me. So the one that my friend Danny uh, showed to me is the one I'm going to review, test, and show you today. It is the Pyramex or Pyramex i4 safety goggles. Uh, Pyramex, Pyramex, let me know how you pronounce it, I don't know. Uh, for now, I'll just call it the i4 safety goggles, or the i4 iPro. Regardless, uh, yeah. Uh, before I begin this video, I just want to say that, um, I did some pretty dumb, dumb stuff in this video, but I had protection, I took safety precautions. Please, please do not do this at home. Leave it to professionals like me, because we take eye protection serious. So they have uh, multiple uh, lenses for this frame. They have an uh, amber lens, they have the clear lens, and they have the gray. All of them are anti-fog and dual pane, meaning the front is for uh, protection and the back is for anti-fog. Alright, so we're going to open this, we're going to review it, we're going to test fire it, and then give my final thoughts about it. So, without further ado, let's open this. So, right out the package, you get the goggles with the lens. You also get two different attachments. You get the one with the temple. By the way, this is the temple right here. It also has straps in the back. And that just makes sure that it attaches to your head. Because you know how when you're uh, running or jumping or playing volleyball or playing basketball with your glasses, it just falls right off? It has that so it holds onto the back of your head a bit more tighter. Secondly, you also get the one with the straps as well. And I find this more comfortable because it doesn't pinch my ear as much. And um, I just personally like this one a lot better. Now, I'm going to show you how to attach it right now. So, basically, you want to do is find the bar right here. Have that focus. And then you want to find the side with the... The, the fat end is going to be at the bottom, the long end is going to be at the top, so it's basically like that. And once you hit click, that's how you know it's attached. Now do the same thing with the other side. And again, the, the long uh, skinny end, sorry, the focus is really bad. The long skinny end right there is going to be at the top, and the fat end is going to be at the bottom. So do the same thing and just attach it, and you hit click like that. And that's pretty much it. Alright. So right here on the side is on a hinge, so we move a little bit up and down on both sides. Up and down. Right here is to adjust the length of it, if you have a small head or a big head. If you have a small head, hold on to the top and then pull on the strap. And it's become a lot smaller for you small head people. I have a big head myself personally, so I like to like pull it all the way because I have a freaking huge watermelon head. Yeah, I know I got made fun of as a kid. What do you do? Okay, so anyway, so I like to pull it all the way, and in the back it has this clip to attach to put back on and out, pretty much like that. Now I know what you're thinking. This is, looks like it's made of cheap material and it probably is, but. Over my uh, a year and a half, uh, it never came off of me, so it's been working pretty well. And if I ever wanted to tighten it, I can tighten it on both sides with the, both bands on the on the sides. Now I really like this goggles because it's lightweight and super low profile. Also like that it has uh, the gel in the back for your eyes, making it super comfortable to wear. And um, definitely, it doesn't fog up as much. Now at the very beginning, it won't it won't it actually won't really fog up at all. The only time I fogged up was when it's really sunny, and that's because I'm like sweating like crazy. Like, like I'm not I'm not fat shaming or anything, but I'm like I'm super fat, so for me to run, I sweat like a lot, especially during the summer. So there's pretty much a lot of mist right in the front, and uh, the reason why it would fog up is because you're scratching the lens. But again, that's just uh, uh, what I would do because I, I I would like wipe it, and I, I don't suggest doing that. <laughs> I should just uh, call blind man, walk out of the field, and then um, you know kind of wipe it down with a, a nice soft cloth and uh, spray some um, anti-fog and then go back in the field. But again, when, once you get this, it already has anti-fog. So another thing I want to add is, not too many new airsofters consider this, but one of the most important thing in airsoft besides calling your heads and playing by the rules, playing safely of course, is the eye protection. Please, please buy yourself a nice decent uh, eye protection. Alright bro, make sure it's ANSI approved or military approved. And basically that makes sure, sure that it protects your eyes against what we're doing and basically shooting small plastic pellets at each other. So please, please get yourself a nice pair of uh, goggles and uh, do your research and test out the goggles yourself as well. So now the lenses are made of a uh, polycarbonate and uh, basically right now is my favorite part of the video. We're going to test fire this baby. We're going to shoot at this lens see how durable this lens is. Alright, let's do this. So the first test is going to start with my Crytek Sierra B. It basically shoots between 380 to 400 FPS. Also want to add that I'll be shooting indoors mainly because I don't want ricochets to go into my neighbor's yard. And also we're shooting about uh, 10 feet at that target over there. Alright, so now I'm going to go full auto and I'm actually going to try to break the left side of the goggle. Let's see how this goes. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thing is durable, man. A point blank, too. Did you guys see that? 
Okay, test number two. So this is my friend's uh, Novrish, his SSG24. And basically knowing him, he's probably put like a, a 500 FPS spring in this plus. But let's just be safe, say 500 FPS, because I don't have a chrono right now. So yeah, let's try this uh, literally point blank, because I'm not going to waste your time. <clears throat> so now the stressor. We're going to keep shooting to the brakes. This is going to hurt. Ow. I, I'm literally taking the brunt of this every time. Like, I'm gonna try to shoot like the same place every single time. And, ah, the pain. What I do for YouTube, man. Please, please don't do this at home. Be smart. Let me do the testing. Holy, nice. Okay, I gotta grease this because this is kind of hard to pull back. Ouch. Okay, let's do one more just for the hell of it. Oh my goodness. It still hasn't broken through okay, yet. That's so now I'm sure you can see it. It's a bigger dent. And uh, let's take it out first. So yeah, that's basically what you're looking at. It looks like there's a crack right there. And there's there's a lot of dents right there. And holy cripes, like this thing is adorable. It's, well, I can't cuss, but you get the point. Dang, this is amazing. Definitely trusting this. So these are my final thoughts about these goggles. They're uh, durable, they're comfortable, and uh, for sure, like, they, they can take a beating. You guys saw that, right? You guys saw the test? Yeah, you saw, I know you saw. Don't make me come to your house. And then, I'm just kidding. So yeah, I definitely would, um, like, recommend this to all my Airsoft friends. And I just want to say a quick shout out to uh, Danny. Thank you for letting me use your uh, Airsoft uh, SSG24. And for showing me this eye protection for, um, like, in the past, again, I had this, and he showed me this. So again, thanks to Danny for everything. And uh, yeah, um, hope you guys like my video and always test, uh, research and test out everything for yourself, including your goggles. Always be safe, wear uh, eye protection and face mask. The, the face mask is optional, but the eye protection is not optional. Please, please wear that. And uh, yeah, hope you guys like my video and uh, call your hits. Love and peace.